Bloody Hatchets here once again. This video I'll be showing you how to make this very awesome storage system. Now I made this one here, this storage system last video. So if you want to know how to make this one here, which is when you step on this pressure plate, the uh, chest will appear. That one's pretty cool. So if you want a tutorial on that one, it'll be the video right before this one. I'll also be doing a item sorter after this video so if you want to know how to make an item sorter just please stay tuned or subscribe. Now this one here is really cool because when you press a button it'll send the minecart to the uh, system over here that has a light and the light will show it will be on to show that the chest is here and it will show that the system is locked. Now let me uh, demonstrate this real fast. So let's say that I wanted some food. So I'll press that button. The light will come on. I'll go over here. This chest. Here's some food. Press this button. It'll be sent back. Let's say that I want some emeralds. So I'll press that button. Open the chest again. There's some emeralds. The light is on, showing that it's locked. One more time, guys. So let's say that I wanted some uh, iron ingots. So press that button. There's iron ingots. And let's say that somebody else wanted to press a button, and you're scared that it will clog the system up, back it up. Now that's that's the reason why I have the lock system on here, guys. So. If somebody press this button here while there's a cart there already and the lights on press that button nothing happens because it's locked so press that button nothing happens now you can make this as big and as long as you want guys use any blocks that you want to use obviously you know extend your floor out you know I just made this just for uh, demonstration purpose guys so right here is the redstone I'll be doing a tutorial on this like I said it's fairly simple I'll try to make it as simple as possible so right here is the items that you'll need um, I'm not going to tell you exactly how many items of each because like I said you can make this as big as you wish now the items you'll need are a block of choice a half slab of choice a dropper, not a dispenser, but a dropper, hoppers, a button, a lever, a redstone lamp, a redstone comparator, redstone repeater, redstone torch, redstone dust, a regular piston, regular rail, a powered rail, an activated rail, and a mine cart with chest alright guys so let's uh, get on with this now you'll need a 10 by 14 area so let me make my area here alright guys once you have your area like I said it'll be 10 by 14 like you see here on the screen and make sure that you dig down 5 because this block here will be your floor this block will be your floor so you have to dig all this down so you have to dig down five okay now once you have all that come down here and please keep in mind guys you can uh, extend this way out as long as you want so what I'm doing here you'll ha like if you want it longer just stretch it out the same thing just make it longer okay now come right here the bottom right and place uh, if you want it the size I have now which is six uh, chest you'll come down here and go like this and place five blocks one block apart just like that like I said if you want it longer just stretch it out okay so now take out your redstone torch and place just like this and then take out your block of choice again and just place right on top 
like that. Okay, now do the same exact thing again. So, just like this. And again, place your block right on top, like this here. So this is how it should look. Alright, now go around this side here and take out your redstone dust and place it right here where these blocks are, like this. Take out your block again and place just like this here. Then take out your redstone comparator and place into the block facing into it like this all right guys so now what you need to do is get out your redstone repeaters and place them inside of here like this now make sure when you place these put them on four tick delay so click them one two three like this one two three and do that with all of them like that so that's four tick delays on them and then take out your uh, dropper, make sure again that it's not a dispenser but a dropper and place them just like this here and then place them going straight up facing upwards like this and then come around this side and go crouch mode and place them going facing this way here like this then take out your hoppers and place the hopper against crouch and place them right on top of these droppers where they're fate where they're going downwards like this. Okay, so now what you need to do is get uh, some dirt and click on these bottom droppers here so click on this one and place one dirt block in there so do that to all these and make sure that you don't do it this top one but the bottom one here so again just put these in there like this if you don't do this step then the whole system will not work okay now once you have that guys take out your block of choice again and place like this here then place your redstone like this like that there and then place your block of choice again right on top and then take out your uh, slab of choice and place it just like this Alright, so again, take out, have your uh, half slabs and go out like this here until you're right on top of this block. So it's one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then once you have that, guys, just come out this way here. And so it's one more after this block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve will be this spot. So once you have that, go around right here and place your block of choice. Delete that block. Take your half slab, place right here. Alright, now what you need to do guys is go ahead and take your half slabs and come out like this connect all these up alright so it should look just like this so far Okay, now go over here, and you need to count two blocks from this, so here's one, two, and then the third block, which will be this one, 
place your half slab like this and then take out your uh, or place another one there that way you have room take out your dropper again and place it facing this way place one facing up go around this way here crouch place one facing towards you then take out your uh, hopper and place going downwards like that and then you'll need to put another dirt block in here so let's get a dirt block don't forget to do that okay so take out your quartz slabs or whatever slab and come out like this place your uh, comparator going outwards like that it should come on because you got the dirt block in there. Next, uh, get your block of choice, come up like that. Then bring your half slabs, one, two, three, like that. Okay, so right here you're going to need to put a half slab going, let's see, hold on going like that which would be upside down slab and put another one like there okay guys so you'll need your lever for the next step uh, take out your block of choice also and place just like this Hopefully you guys can't hear my neighbor outside. He's mowing his grass. It's really loud. Sorry if you guys can hear that. So once you place your blocks like this, then take your half slabs out and place your half slabs. One there, skip this one. One there, skip this one, and one there. And then take out your levers, put a lever here, turn it on, lever here, turn it on, lever here, turn it on, so it should look like that. Then turn it on this way here, take your half slabs out again, and place your half slabs just like this. Don't put one over here, just these. Then lever, turn these on as well. So, this is how it should look so far. Alright guys, next step you'll need to have your detector rails and your powered rails. So first take your detector rail and place it right here. Like that. Then take out your powered rail and place it up here. Delete that because you need it to go upwards. Next, take your block and place it right on top of here like this. Okay, now come around this side over here. Take out your powered rail. Come out just like that. Now take out your regular rail. Wait a minute, let me get a regular rail. Alright. Now take out your regular rail and place on top of here like that and then place a detector rail right here then a regular rail right here so regular rail detector rail regular rail and then put a powered rail right there like that Okay, now take your power rail and you'll need to extend these all out like, like the other one. And then go over here on this side 
and place your regular rail right here. Powered rail, regular rail, powered rail, regular rail. And make sure that you do this in this pattern. That way that all the rails will be facing that way. If not, then it will not work. So once you have your rails facing you like this. Alright guys, next take out your redstone dust and place right here. Now this is this might happen to some of you. Now make sure the rails face all that way. Now if your rail goes to change to where when you put this redstone tort or redstone dust down, now if your rail does this which goes like that that's no good guys so if it does do that then all you'll need to do to correct it is to put a torch down here vice versa but if it's like this you ain't got nothing to worry about but like I said if it if it does change when you put this down the way to correct it is put your redstone torch down okay now take out your block of choice again and go right up here. Alright, now go back behind here and take these blocks here out. Take your half slab, place right in between these. Then go down here on this end and you'll need to come out one two with your half slabs and then make a full block right here and then put your redstone torch right here like that and then take your redstone and come out like this all the way down all right guys so Go over here and put your redstone dust like that. Then take out your regular piston and face downwards. Just like that. Then take out your block of choice and put them right here. And then take out your half slab and you'll need to come down one like there hopefully you guys like the video that I'm doing okay so once you have that guys put your half slabs on here extend it out and then put your redstone dust right on top of there like this And then come around this side here, where your powered rail is, and put a half slab here. Put a piece of redstone right there. Take out your floor block. This is the block that will be right here. Take it out and go right on top of the redstone here just like this and go all the way down with it and this over here guys you're gonna have to change something I'm sorry so delete this redstone here move this slab to right here put your floor block here like this like that and then place your redstone dust right there sorry about that so this is how it should look alright now take that same block which would be your floor and take it and run it along this way here don't put it over the rails like this because that's where you're wall block is going to go so take out your wall block and place it like this and bring it all the way down as well 
just like that. Then take out your redstone torch and place it right here where the redstone is. And it should power the redstone and activate the pistons to make them look like this. Alright guys, so almost done with this. So take out your button and right here where this torch is, place a button there. Just like that, and like I said, if you want this longer, just do the same thing, just extend it out. So the button will activate this piston here, so if I press it, the piston goes up and comes back down like that. Next, take out your minecart with chest and place it right on top like this. So that's how it should look, just like that. You can go ahead and make your wall go up a little bit, that way later on you, you can have your uh, item frames above the buttons. Alright guys, now it's time for your redstone lamp. So to put that in, take out your slab and go right here and run this right into the wall like that. Put your redstone on there like this. Take out this block. Put your redstone lamp in there like that. Come around the front. Place your button right here. Alright guys, so I'm going to clear out my inventory here. I'm going to put uh, some items in here. So, let's see, let me get some item frames. I want to test this out real fast, guys. So, let's say that you, you know, this is, will be on survival. So, let's say some diamonds, emerald, that, some gold, let's say you got some food, okay so put your diamond in there, emerald, iron, and like I said guys, put whatever you please in here, it does not matter what you put in this, Just put whatever and you can make this as long as you want, so to put this in the chest, once you have your item frames like this, whatever you want in them, press the button. The light will come on as before. So I press the diamond. So right here is the diamond chest. So put your diamond in there. Press this button. Let it go back. Press the emerald button. Right there is the emerald chest. So place your emerald in there. Return it. Iron ingots, put them in there as well, return that baby back, your gold ingot, put that in there, return that, your food, return that. I say that you want uh, your tools or pickaxes or whatever in this one. So put a pickaxe in there, push that button, yada yada yada, put that in there, self explanatory, return it back. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Bloody Hatchets. And like I said before, um, if you want this here, which is uh, a different kind of 
storage system. I have that tutorial on that. And if you want a item sorter, which I have one right over here, I'll do a tutorial on this as well. How this one works is when you put something in the chest up there, I'll explain all this a lot better in the tutorial, but basically you put things in here, it'll sort it all out and put it in these chests down here. Alright guys, like I said, hopefully you all liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.